An important part of designing your insulation packages is knowing the difference between the thermal insulation and the acoustical insulation. We've already identified the thermal envelope and the exterior walls need to be insulated, but right behind me is actually some interior partition walls that are certainly optional, not required by code. But knowing how the occupants are going to live in this space and what spaces are adjacent to each other will help us really design a better living environment and a more comfortable house. Behind me is the master bedroom, which is right connected to the uh, great living space here with an open kitchen and an open floor plan that's become more common. This is an area that concerns me acoustically. Typically, we want to recommend sound insulation in these studs to give you privacy between the master bedroom and the living space. So on the exterior envelope, code-driven will usually tell us what R values we need to have for the thermal performance on the exterior walls. On the interior walls, it's really the R value doesn't matter much. We typically use a lighter density product such as an R13 bat insulation in that area. It's at a little bit lower price point and makes it more economical for the homeowner or the builder.